Today we head back down to the beautiful city of Exeter in Devon. It's a fantastic away day and I absolutely cannot wait for this one. Exeter are really a club that we should be modelling ourselves on as Chatham Town, of course. Fantastic fan base, historical club, community driven, community owned, good investment behind the club, but also a fantastic academy producing the products of the likes of Ollie Watkins, Ethan Ampadu, and that is just to name two of the many names that they've produced. I've started off by talking glowingly about Exeter City, and I'm going to continue. Gary Caldwell's men sit third in EFL League One after seven games on 13 points, an incredible start for the Grecians. On the other hand, my team Cheltenham, we sit 24th in EFL League One on one point, still yet to score a goal in the league. We actually haven't scored yet in all competitions. The only goal we have registered to our name is an own goal from Bristol Rovers. Fantastic. So here's the hoping we get a goal today. In our last five, we have lost four and drawn one. That draw coming at Fratton Park away at Pompey. So, confidence is low going into this, but it's a fantastic away day. Lovely place, and hopefully we can make a good day of it. And hopefully we can see our team finally score a goal. My score prediction is a 3-0 loss. I know, very negative, but I just can't see us getting a result. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Can Exeter City get three points, which will potentially move them back to the top of the league? Or will Cheltenham finally pull a result from the depths, which could potentially take them out of the relegation zone? Only time will tell. Let's head to St James Park and find out. Right then, so the lineups are now out. It seems like a massive mess. I actually haven't sat down and tried to figure out what formation we're playing yet. The bench looks stacked. Keena, Davis, Battleroy, Deji, etc. Pupian all on the bench. Um, but the starting 11 is very questionable. We've got three kind of left wing back players uh, on the pitch, which is interesting. It looks okay. I it think. looks a bit messy though. Yeah. We don't have three left wing backs on the pitch. Yeah. But Malcolm starts. True. And I'm quite happy with that. He looks promising. So We've only seen him against Bristol Road. Yeah, but he looks promising. Listen, he's better than what we have, surely. You know he he's powerful. Do you know what? We, ta- powerful. We, we, we do take anything we get. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, we can't we, complain. We, 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 we haven't scored yet, so yeah, we just exactly. need to go We've got to try. It's worth a try. Oh, we'll, oh, this is depression. Right, let's go to kick off. Oh, my God. Oh, so 
Right at half time, Exeter City nil, Cheltenham nil, and God knows how it's nil nil. They've been absolutely all over us in the stats and on the eye. It's absolutely shocking. The players are just having a horrendous day at the office, like they have most games this season. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to say going into the second half, but fingers crossed we can get a goal. We're still in the game, it's nil nil, but to be honest, I feel like it's only going to end one way. Literally, the only hope I've got riding on this is that this time last season when we came here, it was nil nil at half time, and then we went and shit owls the win in the second half. Only time will tell. It's not happening, but we'll see. Let's go, second half. <laughs> No one is that. Not even close.
Right then, so that does conclude today's match day vlog. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you did enjoy. I've only just got home, so I'm still in editing. Apologies that the video has taken a while to get out, but hopefully you do enjoy it, and hopefully you've enjoyed it up till this point. Um, from us, horrendous performance. Exeter were up for it today. Fantastic performance from them. Fans were good. Very good performance. Got some fantastic players, and Gary Coldwell has got them well drilled and up for this season, that's for sure. Um, us, we're in an absolute rut. I do worry, I think, from a club perspective, we've got issues all over. Forget Wade Elliott and you know people wanting him out. Obviously, I think for his sake and for the fans' sake and for the club's sake, it might be time but there's issues all over the club and those are going to be long-term issues as well, but I'll talk about those another time, I think, at the moment. You know, zero goals scored in seven games, one point. We're 23rd in the league, thanks to Fleetwood losing 3-0 today. But it's not good enough. We're really not in a good place. We're already four points adrift from safety. Worrying signs and a long season ahead, it seems. Congrats, Exeter fans, for the win and good luck for the rest of the season, of course, except uh, for the reverse fixture at Wooden Road. But yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I will not be at Peterborough on Tuesday. It's just too hard for me to get there, but I will be there on Stevens on Saturday. So fingers crossed there will be a vlog for that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash like and subscribe, all the good stuff. But yeah, have a class yesterday, and I will see you in the next one.